Hello, people of YouTube! My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future cartoon and anime-related videos. So today we are talking about Harley Quinn Season 2, Episode 9. There's not a lot of episodes left, but uh, it's still pretty good. So this entire episode is based around... Poison Ivy's bachelor party, and it's also based around King Shark and his betrothed Tabitha, and uh, Kite Man's kind of bachelor party. We didn't really touch on him too much, uh, but we got to see some characters um, that we haven't seen in a little while, and it was just all all good fun. And and by the thumbnail, as you can tell, some 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 stuff kind of happens, you know, little little little, little bit, little, 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 little bit, some some stuff. Some stuff kind of happened a little bit. Uh, so basically, we start off this episode on Wonder Woman's invisible jet. And basically, all of Wonder Woman's homeland has been basically made into a uh, A-lister celebrity spa resort. And they got, you know, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn showing up. There's a couple of A-listers right there. Um, so they're taking pictures of them. While they're doing stuff, uh, and basically one of their enemies uh, pretty much hypnotized the queen in order to turn it into a spa resort because Wonder Woman is nowhere to be found at this point in time. She is still trapped in the Queen of Fables book along with Superman and Green Lantern. Um, so we still have no idea if they're ever going to come back. I'm guessing at some point they're going to come back because they were kind of hinting at it this episode. I mean, they were just mentioning her name. They weren't specifying. They were going to figure out how to get her back. But um, this is kind of more of Harley actually doing the right thing and <laughs> in, in saving the city, which I thought was kind of hilarious. Uh, because at the end of the episode, after everything has kind of went down, um, they end up fi finding out, or Harley, I should say, ends up finding this out, that it was a plot for Lex Luthor. So Lex Luthor came back in this episode briefly uh, on, a, on a video, it was like a TV screen, uh, to basically, so he gets the rights to everything. And they can kind of milk this this cow for all it's worth, you know, give the secret island location to everybody. Uh, but no, that's not actually how it worked. And 9 out of 10, um, <clears throat> it wouldn't have worked out anyway. So Lex Luthor is definitely alive. He did not die. That's, that's, that's one right there. That's one person we thought was dead that's not actually dead. Another person that I thought was dead that isn't actually dead is that um, Greek god looking guy the bald, the bald guy with the big old beard with the huge friggin burly muscles that was like the motivational speaker for villains i think he was back in season one he is also alive so they have the ability to basically bring back anybody alive that they want to however he is basically a stripper now <laughs> at this point which i thought was hilarious um so the first day was like spa relaxation you know very commercialized harley was wondering why they were actually doing this perfectly fine they got drunk, you know, at the end of the day, whatever. Harley forced all of the other people that were there to be friends. There was Jennifer, who helped Poison Ivy in her childhood. Um, there was Catwoman was there. Mrs. Freeze was there. Um, Harley, Ivy, it's, that's that's basically the whole, whole shebang right there, all five of them. But uh, what happened in this episode, <laughs> let me tell you, it happened twice, twice, um, was Harley... And Ivy hooked up. So so Harl Ivy confirmed it ain't just a kiss. It ain't just a one minute thing. They hooked up twice. Um, I mean, part of it could have been because they were drunk. They were both drunk. Uh, Harley definitely wanted it. I'm guessing Poison Ivy um, kind of, you know, definitely felt more into it when she was drunk, you know, more in tune to her feelings. We didn't really see a lot of that when she was drunk, but she was complimenting Harley the entire time, saying, oh, you're perfect. You do all this stuff for me. I love it. It's great. It's excellent. It's excellent. Um, and they, they hooked up twice. Everybody's like, ah! They're gonna be a couple screw kite man, uh, even though I kind of like kite man, but yeah, that happened twice, 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 twice. That's the thumbnail. Holy crap, it's crazy. Uh, but it is, it's, it's kind of sad though, um, because uh, Ivy was basically, it's, it's true. She was talking about how Harley kind of just keeps on going to the next thing, and uh, uh, Ivy doesn't want to be the next thing. She she loves her as a friend. She'd give her life for her, but she doesn't want to give her heart to her. Which I mean, that hurt that hurt Harley a lot. We definitely ended the episode on a very sad note with uh, Harley kind of crying on the steps of the invisible plane. Um, also, which was really <laughs> on a funnier note. I'm already laughing about it um, because birds 
obviously can't see the plane. They were just flying into it. Like there were the countless dead pigeons on the invisible plane, the invisible band, all, all the dead <laughs> animal galore <laughs> were just pretty messed up. Um, Mrs. Freeze hooked up with the Greek god guy. Um, I don't know what the heck Jennifer did, or Jen, we'll call her. Uh, Batwoman was probably around stealing stuff the entire time. Not Batwoman, Catwoman. Uh, was probably around stealing stuff the entire time. Um, and Harley kind of accounted for that, took the safe out of her room, you know, tried to hide all the valuables, etc. But she still ended up getting some money from some of the male strippers. And that was hilarious, because they were basically like, oh, everybody's forcing to uh, talk to each other, you know, everybody's forcing to be nice to each other, it's for all for Ivy, don't worry about your needs, that's not your problem right now. And uh, Harley was basically like, okay, you, you're, you're doing this, and then the second, the second they announced <laughs> the male strippers, they just went all for it. And I don't know if that's a sexism thing or not, because uh, Kite, Kite Man was not about the female strippers at all in any, any shape or form, which I thought was kind of interesting. You know, I mean, uh, one you, you think one one gets to have her fun, he gets to have his fun. You know, it's, it's the same thing. You, it's something you mutually agree upon. But uh, I don't know if that'll go to uh, bite Kite Man in the butt later or bite... Ivy in the butt later, because um, obviously at some point Ivy is probably going to have to talk to Kite Man about what happened with Harley and kind of see where that plays out. Uh, she still plans on marrying Kite Man, uh, but we'll definitely just have to kind of wait and see what happens with that. Um, apparently the getting was good from what Harley in described. Uh, multiple times the getting was good. <laughs> um, and kind of had that beautiful, you know, balcony shot with Ivy and the towel and Harley standing beside her like, oh, yep, they're finally going to be a thing, etc. But we didn't really, you know, it, it's not going to happen as of right now with this episode anyway. It'll probably happen in the future is my guess is, you know, Ivy's eventually just going to have to come full circle with her feelings for Harley and kind of go from there. I don't know what that's going to mean for Kite Man. Uh, so what Kite Man was basically doing is they were on a boat with uh, Clayface, Frank the Plant. We got to see his plant ass, which I was like, okay, did, did not that did not need to be animated. I think they just did that for a little funny gag thing, giving a plant a butt. And um, uh, King Shark was there too. But we kind of got a look into King Shark's past uh, because this Sebastian-like crab from, you know, my Little Mermaid, Ariel, all that, came out of nowhere, talking crab, similar accent, was like, hey, you gotta come back, you gotta marry your betrothed Tabitha, um, so that way we can unite the two kingdoms, etc. And uh, basically he was like, no, I don't want to do that, ended up going into the water, um, and then there was an entire little sequence about the best thing in the sea is you can poop wherever you want and you don't have to wipe, and like, what? <laughs> I thought that was super weird. And the crab was like, oh, well, you know, I can't just say if you don't get married to her that there's going to be this huge war um, because that uh, wouldn't work out too well. <laughs> but yeah, who knows? So um, she doesn't want to get married to him. He doesn't want to get married to her. He expresses that to his father. Uh, to the kind of the hammerhead king and um b basically they get married so he he was like you know like we we, we were led to believe he wasn't getting married and they got married so that way the kingdoms don't kill each other uh, but basically it's it's not really going to be an issue because yes they're technically married but uh they're they're married but not married so, so they're married for political reasons <laughs> they're not married for love so they both kind of agreed yep or we're, we're going to be married if we have to show up at the same place at the same time we will we'll tolerate each other uh, but we're going to go on and do other relationships relationships, whatever, do our own thing. So they can definitely go back to that if they ever want to, if there becomes a season three, which there better be a season three, you better do it. You better sign on Netflix or somebody. You know, the popularity in the show seems like it's going up and up and up and up and up. And, and we're sitting here wondering, you know, sucking our thumbs, wondering, hey, is there going to be a season three? No, there's not going to be a season three. Yes, there is going to be a season three. I want to know. Let me know. Season three, come to me. Let me know. I want that season three. So I'm hoping we get a season three, but as of right now, there is zero confirmation. So, you know, there's nothing leading up to it. Usually there's something uh, like with Final Space, for example, you know, you get the, you get that confirmation, um, you know, like a, maybe a little bit into the season that there's going to be a season three. You know, most shows, it's like, you know, you're like probably three quarters of the way through it and they're already confirming the the next season but this is not the case so far so it has me very concerned because i want a more harley quinn i am thoroughly enjoying the show as i have said previously 
You know, I'm loving the violence, loving the sexuality of it, just 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 loving all aspects of it. The storyline is great. Um, they just keep building, building, building on the characters. Uh, what we don't know is what's going to happen with Doctor Psycho. Is I think that that's still a very real possibility in my book is that Doctor Psycho is going to give the Joker his memory back, and then they're going to be a deadly duo. Um, and they could definitely do that for season three possibly they might do it for this season i mean we're on episode nine so there's like what four episodes left 13 episodes um so who knows possibility um may or may not happen um I mean, Harley's got full control over Gotham. We're kind of in that kind of emotional stage where Har uh, Ivy is still going to get married to Kite Man. That's probably going to happen next episode. And there's probably going to be some sort of crazy big scene at the wedding uh, to, to stop it, I'm guessing, so Harley and Ivy can kind of do their thing. But uh, who knows? Maybe it'll go poly like it has in the comic books in the past from what I've been told um, and everything will work out. We will just have to wait and see. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. Yet again, if you're new here, Hitting the subscribe button helps greatly, and as always, have a good one.